Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another Ipsy bag and today I am opening the Ipsy Ultimate for the month of August. This one of course is the $50 box, so there is a lot to get through. And this is a mixture of full size and deluxe samples as well, so I'm always really intrigued to see what I got. So let's go ahead and get into this one. And I actually haven't even opened this one, so I'm gonna use my handy little box cutter tool. Okay. All right, so, oh, quick mention too on my look here. I mean, love it or hate it, it is what it is. So I'm starting for Instagram to do Freckle Friday. And should I call it Freckle Friday or Fantasy Freckle Friday? Because basically I'm gonna be doing some kind of like interesting freckle. I have like, these are actually little things. I haven't drawn them on. Um, and it's basically just to be cute and <laughs> to inspire my eye look. I don't really love the combination today. I feel like the orange is a little bit too dark and bold, but you get the gist of it. I've done one before that was like an avocado um, kind of guacamole-ish kind of freckle. It's on my Instagram. I'll have to kind of repost it at some point for one of my Fridays whenever I don't have a look ready. But so be sure to check that out because I'm going to do that every Friday. And it's really creative. It kind of inspires me to do something more than just normal makeup. So be sure to go follow me on Instagram. I'll go ahead and stick my handle right up here if you guys want to check it out. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is the Generation Clay Detoxifying Charcoal Clay Mask. So this is a deluxe sample. It's about a half ounce, definitely enough to try it multiple times and see if you like it. I have a couple things from Generation Clay, but I think I mentioned this in my BoxyCharm. I think in my BoxyCharm, I got a charcoal product. I don't really go for charcoal too much, um, even though it has some good benefits in some areas for the face. I'm a little bit more dry. You can definitely do it. Like I can definitely hydrate my skin enough to be able to use it, but it's just not something that I particularly like because charcoal is very absorbent. Um, it's really good for absorbing oil and I don't really have that issue. I doubt that I will use this one. I do get a lot of skincare in my subscription boxes and I can't always keep it. Like it's just going to really pile up. So I doubt that I'll use this one but I will definitely get it to someone who will really enjoy it and not a bad product to get. We got from is this Payo. It's French so I don't think it's Payot. <laughs> so Payo, I'm gonna guess with that, is a creme glacé plumping moisturizing care. I don't know anything about this brand. It says it's recyclable. It does not look like it's cruelty free. It's got a good alcohol in it, followed by dimethicone. The next ingredient is something else, and then perfume. Now, the little jar is kind of cute, so we shall see, I guess. I can guess I can give it a smell. It smells good, but it's definitely very fragrant. Like, I could definitely do without that at all. But it smells nice. I mean, if you're someone who enjoys your skincare to have a certain like clean, fresh type of smell, then you'll probably actually like the smell of this a lot. I would just prefer, you know, no fragrance in mine if I had to choose. It's cool to try new brands, but at the same time, you always have to kind of like wonder if it's new to you. You're always just kind of like, mm, let me check it out. I don't know much about it. So, you know, there's good and bad to receiving brands you've never heard of, but yeah says beauty in motion since 1920. Okay, I'm kind of keen to try this out, but I'm gonna do some research. What else? So we got the Complex Culture Plush Powder Brush. Okay, so I actually got this in my Ipsy Plus, and I did see this, and I was kind of confused, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe when it was time for your Ipsy Plus choice, you had to select your items before being able to go look and see what your ultimate had in it. So ultimately, no pun intended, I got this brush twice because I had picked it not knowing it was in my ultimate. Now there's a small chance <laughs> that I just didn't realize that I could go look at and maybe I only looked after the fact. I'm not sure, but it was kind of like, okay, I, I love the brush either way and it wasn't really like thrilled with the other choices in my plus. So I'm not mad at having two of these. Like I can definitely find uses for two powder brushes. You could definitely use this to like brush off all the powder off of your face, like any excess powder in addition to powdering your face. But I'm not gonna complain because yes, I have two of these, but it is a very luxurious brush and I was very thrilled to get it, so no complaints here. I'm probably gonna keep it because, like I said, I truly love their brushes, but, you know, maybe I'll pass one on to somebody else. I'm probably gonna keep it. We got from Than Hydrating Emulsion with Organic Inca Inchi Oil, <laughs> Algin and Myrothemnus. 
I'm butchering all of that. Let me stop. Um, so it says smooth cream onto face, neck, and massage gently. Use morning and evening after cleansing. And if necessary, after apply than facial serum. I guess this is meant to be maybe more of like a, an essence. Oh, no. It feels like the consistency of a serum, like a lightweight serum. I don't really know what it does. It absorbs quickly, leaving skin dewy soft, smoothing out fine lines, antioxidant rich properties, encourages deep hydration for smoother appearing complexion. Okay, I mean, I'm keen to give this a try. Once again, I think I'll just have to look into it. I always like the word emulsion makes me think more like, you know, essence serum type of thing. And it definitely feels like a serum, but that sank in really fast. And my skin does feel really, really smooth underneath. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give this one a try. It sounds really interesting to me. I mean, it seems like it has some really good ingredients in here. It does have some fragrance in it, but it's much farther down on the list. So at least it's not as concentrated in the product, but yeah, I'm keen to give this a try. I'm not really familiar with this brand either, but something about this just appeals to me. So we will try that out. This says super silver. Haze Purifying Face Mask with Cannabis Oil. It's skincare by Makeup Drop. Okay, so I'm not familiar with this, but I mean, it's kind of getting my attention as well. I'm definitely gonna be trying out some new products. French green clay is the second ingredient. First ingredient is water. I'm always just kind of curious, like the first couple ingredients, just to see what's in there. It has Himalayan salt, glycerin rose, um, rosehip oil. So it's got some pretty good ingredients. I don't know the benefit of colloidal silver in skincare. I'll have to look into that. I think it's very soothing. Is that true? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give this a try too. I guess I'm just gonna be trying out some different ones, but it does have 100 milligrams of CBD. So that's really exciting. And yeah, we'll have to try it out in the try on video. We got from Real Her Eye, Am Amazing 24 Hour Eyeliner. I don't see a color, but I'm gonna guess black. Okay, yeah, so this was like a black liner. It's really smooth, super black. So just something really simple, it's just a little twist up, nothing crazy. I've had like some good and bad with Real Her. I feel like it's been a little bit hit and miss with just things that I've tried, but I will give it a try and we will check it out. I got from Feel, this is the Vitamin E Balm. It has a complex of castor seed oil and sunflower, instantly moisturizes dry lips and skin, providing a protective barrier to prevent dryness. Okay, let's put a little bit on my other hand and see. Cause this is kind of interesting. If it's just a Vitamin E Balm, I'm assuming you can kind of use it anywhere where you really need like the extra, woohoo. That is like super emollient. Is this good for heels? Like, let me know if you've ever, if you have dry, dry heels, what you do for them. Like, I feel like I have to do a foot peel and then super moisturizing ingredients. But if this would be good for that, I'd definitely try it on my heels and see. It smells a little like, is that menthol-y? Castor seed, carnauba, mentha. Okay, it's got peppermint oil in it, excuse me. So yeah. Interesting product. This item I believe that I picked out, this is the Sunday Riley CEO. This is a 15% vitamin C. And you guys probably know, I love Sunday Riley products. I have tried so many from them. I'll give you guys a little look at that. I love Luna, I have Good Jeans, Autocorrect. I love so many of their products. So I didn't have a backup of my CEO serum. So I was just like, why not? Let me get it. And I like this particular type of vitamin C. It tends to agree with my skin. This is a THD asorbate. It's just a type of vitamin C. And I feel like my skin doesn't get irritated. Like L ascorbic acids kind of irritate my skin a little bit. Um, just a little bit, like I can deal with it, but I like this. I'm so happy to have this one. Well, I am so late showing you guys the bag, like so late into this. So we got a little bit of a bigger bag and it's like this, is this holographic? It looks kind of like a rose gold and then it's got like the, you know, rainbowish holographic effect to it. So it's pretty cute. You could definitely fit, you know, a good bit of makeup in here. We got Koki Fix It Up Mini Matte Setting Spray. Um, I have a ton of setting sprays. I also actually have this particular setting spray and I didn't really love it that much. So I'll just give it to somebody who doesn't mind it. Now, keep in mind, I don't have oily skin, so I don't typically go for mattifying setting sprays. You know, not that it's bad, it just probably didn't agree with my skin very well. So I will pass that along to someone who can use it. We got Gentle Derm Cleansing Gel Foam, no sulfate, mineral oils, animal origin ingredients synthetic fragrance or synthetic dyes dermatologically tested okay it says hypersensitive and irritated skin okay interesting once again there's just so many products in here of like brands that I'm either barely familiar with or I've never heard of but we did get something from 111 skin this is the cryo ATP sports booster I don't know what that means mimicking the effect of extreme cold on the skin 
This booster contains cellular energy, ATP, to encourage optimized cell function. A lax complexion will be reignited to leave it tightened, toned, and refined. Um, so you actually mix it into the palm of your hand with your favorite moisturizer and apply directly to skin after cleansing. What does sports booster mean? Like, I don't, I guess I was just not really understanding what this was, but now I guess you just mix it into your moisturizer. Pretty simple. I do love the packaging, I have to say. 111 Skin always has like insane price points, and I do like one or two of their products that I've tried. I haven't tried much. It's all from subscription boxes, but I tried like the face mask. I've used several of them. I didn't really see a difference with those. Like they just felt like any other face mask, but you know, I'll give it a try because I'm always interested to see what the bougie products will do. One last product, this is from Soapbox Soaps. This is the Coconut Milk Hair Mist with Vitamin E to hydrate and shine. So once again, I have not heard of this one, but I will be sure to give this a try as well. I tend to like like coconut-ish products for my hair, especially just for the ends, but I don't put like straight up coconut oil on there because it's so heavy, it won't like let moisture into my hair. But if it's coconut milk, maybe, and it's got some vitamin E in it, I may try it into my ends just to see. It says you put in a wet or dry hair and tousel to distribute. Okay, so I will definitely give this one a try as well. This video has got out of hand, but I guess we did have a lot of items. I have to say for my ultimate, I don't feel like this is anything like super, super impressive. Um, I'm obviously very excited to get my complex culture brush and I am excited about the 111 Skin Booster because I just, you know, I'm always interested to see if it'll do anything. I am really excited to try this mask out for whatever reason, like it just appeals to me. With the CBD and the French green clay, that just sounds enticing. So I'm gonna see how that does for my skin. So there's a few good things in here, but I can't say that like, it's really wowing me in any type of way. I'm kind of just thinking, it's pretty good. I have it. I'm glad to have it, but I'm not jumping for joy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. And I will be seeing you really soon in my next one. Bye guys.